Thank you, Marcus. It was a sleepless night for a West Side man. He told police he dodged at least one of the bullets that slammed into his home. It happened in a 2000 block of Veracruz. Our Katrina Weber is live at Public Safety Headquarters with that story. Now, Katrina, have they made any headway in their investigation? As far as we know, police have not made any arrests just now, but they did get quite a bit of information from the homeowner. They also collected quite a bit of evidence at the scene, some of it with our help. I'll tell you more about that in a second, but let me give you a look at the video from when police were out at the house. Now, they got called there a little bit before 4.30 this morning, although the homeowner says he actually saw someone outside his house around 2 o'clock. He says that person appeared, appeared to be trying to shoot out the light in the, the street in front of his house. And then a short time later is when he heard uh, something outside his house and saw something whiz right past his head. It turned out to be some of the sheetrock from his wall as bullets slammed into his house. Uh, police uh, were able to recover about a half dozen shell casings. That was after we pointed them out to them in the street there on Vera Cruz. Uh, police say that uh, no one was injured by those gunshots, but the man says that not only did the bullets come into his bedroom, but they also slammed into the bedroom of his two-year-old son. Fortunately, the child was not home at the time. And again, no injuries at this point. Police are starting this investigation this morning uh, with very little to go on other than that physical evidence. Reporting live from Public Safety Headquarters, Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.